It's 538. Spring's arrival means bees are everywhere these days, and that's actually a good thing we know overall in the picture of nature. But if you're ever stung by a bee or a wasp, you know how painful that sting can be. Yeah, but what is the best method for healing that sting? Our Megan Zielinski has the answer in this week's Medical Mythbuster. As the weather gets warmer, you might be starting to venture outside and you might be greeted by some bumblebees or some honeybees. What happens when you get stung? Well, I have Dr. Becky Dawson here. And Dr. Dawson, I've heard in the past, a lot of people have heard that you should put mud on that and that'll cure that bee sting. Is it true? It may help, um, but it probably isn't the first thing you should go to. The first thing you should do is get the stinger out and just word of advice, you don't wanna pick it out with like tweezers or your fingernails. It's best to use a credit card and actually scrape it out of your skin so that you don't release any more of the venom that's in that stinger into your body. But once the stinger is out, you can use like a mud and water paste if you don't have anything else. But one of the best home remedies is actually baking soda and water. So mixing baking soda and water together, putting it wow. on that bee sting will actually take get rid of some of the initial sting. It also draws out splinters. Really? Salt splinters? contents, yes. Oh. Oh. So if you don't want to pull a splinter out with um, tweezers or you can't get to it, baking soda or even raw bacon will actually Raw cool. bacon? Mm -hmm. Wow. The salty content actually works really well. So what are some of the harms from leaving a bee sting or even if you leave a splinter in you? Well, so they're totally different. So a bee sting, you know, if you get stung, especially by a hornet or a wasp or something that doesn't leave a stinger, it's gonna hurt. And as long as you're not allergic to the bee sting itself, um, you'll probably heal. It's gonna, again, it's gonna be painful for a little bit. Um, the bee, the stinger itself, you'll wanna get out because it will, you'll feel it. Um, so again, scrape it off with a, um, with a credit card or some sort of like solid um, piece of material. Um, in terms of like a splinter, um, your body actually will like, you know, kind of heal around it. It can cause infection. It could cause, you know, something to be like sticking out a little funny, but you do want to get those things out when you can. So whether it's gravel or a splinter, you want to pull those out of your body. Well, you heard it here. Mud might not be your best choice, but apparently baking soda is the, the way to go. the way to go. From the studio, Becky Dawson, Megan Solensky, Erie News Now.